Hello guys, welcome back to Joel underscore Mugisha. This is a new country in the building, a new city, Nairobi City. We are back in the land of Kenya, the city under the sun. So guys, today I'm bringing you a very, very, very exclusive video of a neighborhood that I've been being told on my comment section to visit here in Nairobi, guys. We are not in the CBD, we are in we are in Upper Hill, Nairobi, Kenya, one of the most, uh, one of the best uh, commercial and residential neighborhoods that we have in Nairobi. You yeah, know man. Upper Hill, you know what I'm saying? So you better stick to the video and see what we are saying. Yeah, man. So I'm here with my friend, guys. She's going to be showing me around her city of Nairobi and we are in Upper Hill. Can you introduce yourself? What is your name? Hi guys, my good name is Gracie T, your African diva on my YouTube channel. If you're watching this video and you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, support uh, Joel Mogisha all the way from Rana. He's doing an amazing job. He just re hit 3,000 subscribers. He's now road to 5K subscribers. If you're watching this video, before you watch the video till the end, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And also hit that like button. Also come check me out. Gracie D on YouTube. Yeah man, so guys, we are going to be showing you around this neighborhood. It's one of the most sophisticated neighborhood where so many companies have headquarters with a lot, a lot of, you know, building and nice. Look at these guys. So many tall structures. So let's go. Wow guys, look at that man. Beautiful, beautiful. Grace, be careful because you're on your phone yeah. and we're in the middle of a street guys you can see we are walking by uh, a very narrow strip of uh, place here yeah. in Upper Hill guys but you can see guys uh, this right here the tall building that you can see here this is known as the Britam Tower the Britam Towers yeah. oh look at this man this is a very nice place to have uh, a meal yeah. right here in uh, Upper Hill so I think uh, maybe those people who are employed in many offices here yeah. they come for cheap meals around here right yeah wow and you find like most places we call them Vimbandaski in Kenya Vimbandaski Vimbanda Vimbandaski oh Vimbandaski <laughs> yeah most places where wow. you can just go have a nice wow look at that guys these are so the so-called stores mm -hmm. but uh, Vibandaski in the local language no Vibandaski is where people go eat oh where yeah. people go eat yeah. okay wow beautiful guys look at this place this is not even the cbd but has amazing tall structures and architectural buildings that yeah. uh, look amazing actually so far wow. we've seen over, over over 10 towers around this area by the way wow now there's the, the britain towers you can see ahead of us there is the kcb towers oh where that's we have, have so that's uh, the that's the kcb headquarters yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow guys, you see this? This is the KCB headquarters, one of the biggest, if not, I think it's the biggest uh, bank, bank in, in Kenya, yeah, right? Apart from the uh, CBK, yeah, man. Uh, we have the KCB bank. Wow, that's the yeah. biggest private, say that private they, bank in Kenya, yeah, guys. Yeah, they say it's for the rich. Eh? It's for the rich. Eh? <laughs> that's what I hear people say. Oh, and it's next to Equity yeah. head office. This is also another bank in Kenya, guys, yeah. known as Equity Bank. So they are all next to each other and uh, wow, beautiful guys. If they have headquarters in this neighborhood, I think this is uh, the place to be. <laughs> exactly. I think uh, yeah. the cost of real estate in this neighborhood is super high. Yeah, but it's very high guys, compared uh, to other That is the Britam Towers over there all the way. Very tall building actually. Wow, amazing guys. And this place is real well secure as you can see yeah. i like that grass actually it looks amazing wow. uh, beautiful guys and uh, as you walk around this neighborhood guys you'll find out there's so many places have uh, g4s yeah. security protection yeah, it's which shows you because of the business phase. yeah man so which shows you that uh, there is top 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 notch security around here wow so equity has two buildings this is equity group holding yeah. wow amazing it's guys that's a big bank 
wow, with so beautiful. many things that Look goes around that. yeah yeah man beautiful place guys and this is the talanta area now from the oh that's talanta the talanta plaza, think, yeah. talanta plaza over there from guys that side, yeah. from that side of uh you know the angle we had shot that uh i think earlier guys beautiful beautiful guys wow amazing so do you think uh, we have residential houses in this neighborhood or it's just commercial buildings and headquarters and banks and uh, hotels we actually do like we have so like i said the 88 building that is still a lack of uh, construction yeah but as to the last time i was because I, I was following up on the building yeah the last time uh i think they had sold up to 90 percent yeah 90 percent was sold out yeah but uh, leave alone that uh, if you go to airbnb apps most of the apartments that you see that are in Upper which Mid one is sold 90 percent it's the 88 building you know you know that's a that's a marketing scam <laughs> whenever you go to a new building guys they always tell you that you're almost sold out yeah. we are remaining with two units it's a marketing scam to make you feel the pressure to buy okay, so that uh, you, you are like okay if people are buying up I need yeah, to buy so that I don't up. miss this opportunity <laughs> but it's a marketing scam although yeah. I don't dispute that sometimes it's true yeah. but most of the time it's a marketing scam Wow. can we eat some bananas you want bananas uh, I can take something else but not a banana yeah we can how eat some banana? bananas uh, oh, how much 10 10 bob this one or this one all of them I think all of them eh? <laughs> can we have those ones I think uh, they, yeah, they look better guys we're gonna have some bananas and uh, promote the local industries Ooh, beautiful guys so they have some uh, peanuts you know sim sim you know some you uh, see we are actually like wow. guys we are in lampa here but you can get beautiful and biscuits so it's like a snack center here or a snack uh, place oh uh, we can eat here right yeah sure yeah we it's can eat here fantastic. yeah so that's bananas local bananas guys here in upper hill neighborhood there is a lot of noise around because people are building up and are developing this place right here guys Woo, beautiful guys so let, let's taste some bananas eh? yeah can you shoot me a little bit and you know these bananas are free of gmo are you sure are you <laughs> because they are from africa and we didn't buy them from a store absolutely man yeah so this is a banana from africa <laughs> I do like it. I love it. It tastes amazing. Very fresh and sweet. These guys for just 10 Kenyan shillings and this is in Upper Hill. That shows you in Africa we're not lacking food. We have food very quite affordable, you know. And they're free of GMOs, no chemicals. That's like 10 cents, right? Yeah. Wow. So guys look at this man this is a, a typical you know uh, Rwandan uh, architecture of uh, hey. how they do oh, you don't think we do that in Kenya you think we copied that from Rwanda look at that guys that's how we build in Rwanda but now huh? it's only for that part <laughs> of the look at the other ones hey. <laughs> but anyways yeah that is nice if they can do that all the way to all the roads like this way and then they can design you know the grass and the, the flowers and everything and also in the middle of the street i think that will be nice actually so guys this we are still walking in uh Upper, upper hill, hill right yes wow one of the most uh, sophisticated neighborhoods here in kenya yeah. and uh, miss residy is showing me around her city yeah. and so far i'm really impressed by the buildings around this place guys wow i can see guys there is a uh, the, the pinnacle yeah. in the making yeah what is that about okay as a part it's yeah. not uh, gonna be number one 
yeah. gonna be among the tallest building th buildings that we'll be having in Africa. Yeah. As you can see, they're still, uh, you know, they've not even done anything yet. So I think the process is taking a bit long because of what they're about to, you know, yeah. to put up there. Wow, guys, that is it, the pinnacle. Okay, they're saying the making of a new icon. In the making, a yeah. new icon. Look at this building. Mm -hmm. Wow, this place has so many tall buildings here. Yeah. And uh, very many, actually, companies. And one thing we have seen, guys, there's so many embassies around here. Exactly. Like, uh, up ahead, guys, we're going to have to stop this uh, filming because there is a, a British embassy. embassy right up ahead, guys. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to stop this and uh, we'll continue ahead. But this beautiful place is really super amazing it's looking clean no, and it's looking very serene and quiet actually for a city in Nairobi or a neighborhood in Nairobi exactly. wow so guys actually they have a, a choma grill right up here we are giving them a free marketing here with Miss Gracie B. Yeah, definitely like places where most people, because uh, here in Upper Hill you find most what they have, it's, it's also it's a commercial residential uh, neighborhood, yeah. but it's more of commercial. So you find they must have such places for people who work around here in Upper wow, Hill. Oh, look know? at this, man. This looks good. City. Yeah, city, I don't know. It looks like an office. Of, I don't know what's up. Anyone who knows so they can tell There's us. an artwork, guys. I'm sure you cannot see it because of yeah, of, uh, it's a bit far. Yeah. There's an artwork of an African artwork, so I thought it looked like a museum or something. But guys, this is uh, Nairobi. Mm -hmm. We are back in Nairobi city and we are enjoying a tour around one of the most uh, sophisticated neighborhoods here in Nairobi. Look at that building, guys. That is a big, big, big building. That is the And very iconic, actually. I've been seeing this building from uh, anywhere from Nairobi. Nairobi. You can see this building, actually. And especially, you have a very nice view of it when you have the KICC wow. at the top. Wow. And also, I heard this is the tallest building currently. No, no, in no, Nairobi. The, the GTC. Or oh, the GTC yeah, we took have over. The new one, the GTC oh, in, uh, so this used to be the tallest. Yeah. You know actually used to here these are uh, very nice uh these are very nice apartments that are being built here in Upper Hill. Yeah. At that time, I used to hear that it's gonna be one of the tallest buildings that you're gonna have. It's called the wow. 88 building. Oh, Still under wow. construction. I heard and about. I, I heard about the 88 building. It's it's a gated community. Like it has everything. Everything actually. When you're actually. living there, you don't need to go out. There's a mall. There's yeah. a school. Uh, like they have everything. But I think the GTC has taken over. Wow. Yeah. This is beautiful, actually. Look at that, guys. They have a pizzeria mm -hmm. right there with burger and choma yeah. and guys you remember i just tasted my first experience of a burger <laughs> on this channel in kigali rwanda so you can go check it out if you haven't checked it out and uh, i'm gonna be testing the second experience in kenya so that i can compare which one has the best this but this you have to try yes, burger yeah thing. this is looks like a, a local Restaurant. restaurant and the food is giving actually i can smell the aromas yeah? you can see the chickens on the grill and the wow meat. look yeah. at that guys street food in nairobi right here in uh, upper hill neighborhood oh they have this is all mutual tower yeah the old mutual tower. so it's not sorry. it's not a uap yeah yeah man so we are sorry for that guys this is old mutual tower I don't know the whole Not. of Nairobi, so... <laughs> You no, it's okay. It's yeah. okay. Look at this Shukran Cafe. This looks like a Somali cafe. Yeah, actually, I'm surprised how yeah. they have so many restaurants around you this You can area. see, guys, uh, also, it's only Somalis going there. Yeah. So, look at that, guys. Old Mutual. Old Mutual is a, a very famous company, global company. Yeah. But to be honest, I have no idea what they do. I think they do insurance, they, they do, if I I'm not they wrong. they deal with insurance. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's an insurance company. Mm. Guys, if you are wrong, you can tell us on the comment section. Yeah, guys, tell us yeah. what all the mutual they do, all mutual company. So for me, I think uh, it's insurance. That's what yeah. they deal with. You can also see on the, on the same side, they have MS Bistro. Yeah, man. I'm actually surprised to see that. I've never come to 
party here in Upper Hill by the way for a nightlife. Yeah. But I must bistro, definitely it's a club. Oh. Maybe one day I'll try it out. I thought it's a restaurant. That looks like a restaurant. It can be a club. More than a, a club actually. Mostly the places we have bistros, you yeah. most of them they are club stroke restaurants here in Nairobi. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful place guys, Upper Hill neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Right here in Nairobi, Kenya. But I have to give it to Nairobi guys. This is one of the most developed cities in Africa. Can you believe it? We are not even in the CBD, yeah. but there are so many, you know, beautiful building and skyscrapers all around here. And uh, as you can see guys, this part of Nairobi is super clean and they have uh, some land here which maybe will be in uh, it's not for sale. development yeah. very soon. Wow guys, beautiful man. I can see people are mowing the grasses in uh, the streets, yeah. which actually shows you that they take care of uh, this, part of, this part of Nairobi city. Wow. I don't know if you've realized that's why I'm saying this uh, place is more of a commercial yeah. more than a residential. Yeah. So far because you can see they have so many towers. Yeah man. As a lot of you know businesses going around. Oh guys, nice. look at that. They are taking oh, yeah. care of the grasses here. Mm -hmm. So so many towers, right? Yeah, compared to other areas that we say they are commercial and residential. Yeah. As you can see, Upper Hill is actually for the part that I've toured, like the center of it. Yeah. I haven't seen so much of apartments mm. like we have like in places like Kilimani and Westlands. Uh, yeah. Most uh, building high rise buildings you see. Yeah. They are mostly office buildings. Wow. Yeah. Look at that guys. And the roads are clean ex except that they are mowing the grass yeah. and uh, it's a little bit you know dirtying the road but apart from that guys you can see and these small small cars that you see around parking guys they call them kadudus <laughs> in swahili slang but yeah. they are mostly used for uber guys uber, yeah. so these are uber you know uber cars in kenya they use these small cars because they are very efficient with uh, fuel consumption so they like to park in areas like these ones where they have office spaces because they get a lot of customers here so if you're coming to Kenya you're worried about mode of transport make sure you can download the uber app yeah uber works in kenya so they also bold. they also have another one called bold yeah there's farasi wow yeah and there is chap chap yeah uber chap chap yeah so actually this definitely shows you how the uber business does very good or well in yeah because also you find most people who live here you might have your car sometimes but you want to go to town for us something quick yeah. you don't want to get stuck in your traffic with your car so yeah. you end up using an uber wow. which is quite convenient and mm. very affordable wow guys look at that that's a radisson blue nairobi hotel yeah oh man i have to say though <laughs> she knows what i want to say <laughs> He will not love me because he spent was it two or three nights? Yeah. Was it two or three nights? No, I spent um, two nights in parking, parking by Radisson, Radisson Blue. Blue. Yeah. Yeah. And but that's what that's what or not uh, what I wanted to say, guys. <laughs> I didn't want to floss about that. You can go oh, check you, you, I know check what out you check to out now. the video uh -huh. parking by Radisson Blue. Yeah. I spent two nights there in five star hotel. You wanted to say that. The Radisson blue in Kigali city. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, guys, man. Look at this. Okay, this is still it's good. It's really beautiful. Yeah, it's man. still good, man. But you can't compare it with the Kigali can tell building. Us been to that, to Kigali. No way, bro. The Radisson blue is the one that's just next to the convention center. You know, convention center is one of the iconic buildings that you have in Kigali city. So definitely you know it. Tell us if you've been to Nairobi and Kigali. Guys, which one this do you is, think is more iconic? This is the building that we are talking about. Yeah. And uh, if you don't know Radisson Blue Kigali, go check it out on internet and then come and tell me, man. Okay. Because the Kigali building is just iconic. Yeah. Yeah, man. So this is Upper Hill. But I think wow. the Nairobi one is more iconic. Eh? 
look at those guys look look at the balconies that you sit at when you you know having a good time in the morning or in the evening oh, i still i still give it to eat because it's good it's a yeah. hotel mm -hmm. but uh you cannot compare it to the to the rwandan one man the rwandan one is just on another level Wow, look Tell at that guys. guys. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Wow, this pyramid shaped building. Hey. Yeah. Uh, with some local vibandas over there yeah. where you can, you know, have because some uh, snacks. This is where you can go and have yeah, lunch man. for a hundred Kenyan shillings. Woo! Just because it's upper hill, it's Woo! not that. Yeah. A hundred? A hundred, a uh, hundred and fifty. Wow. You know, it's upper hill. Yeah. Most people come here to work. Yeah. You know, in these offices. Mm. So they also have to have affordable meals. Wow, South look Europe at that guys. Africa. Look at that building man. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. It's like a double pyramid facing in the opposite direction. Uh, you're saying this Talanta Plaza. Wow, Talanta Plaza guys is yeah, this, this is one. Yeah, this is Talanta Plaza. Yeah. It was just reopened actually next. It was launched last year mm -hmm. by the president of Kenya. Wow. It's more to do with, you know, talents that we have in Kenya and to nurture young people. If I'm not wrong, wow. that is what uh, the main purpose of the building is. So this is where they have the main offices. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing actually. Because mm -hmm. Kenya, to be honest, I'm from Rwanda guys, but I think in East Africa, the most talented country is Kenya. You think so? Yeah, I think so, actually. Uh -huh. I think so because uh, Kenyans have a lot of talent online, especially, you know, we watch a lot of uh, and consume a lot of Kenyan yeah, we content back, creators. There is also a place where you can come and try oh, the Arabian wow. cuisine. Arabian Just cuisine, here. right yeah. there, guys. Sorry if to you cut want. you short, but I Arabian thought it was cuisine, interesting. Huh? Right here oh. in... Uh, in Upper Hill. Yeah. That is Victoria Towers. Yeah. The, oh, the one you were saying. Yeah. Okay. And we have one of the most famous iconic buildings in Nairobi, Britam Towers. Yeah. Wow, Britam is an insurance, it's right? An insurance company. Wow. One of the best insurance companies that we have in Kenya wow. that really works, you know. So I would if you like moving uh, looking forward to relocate to Kenya. Yeah. One of the insurance companies that I would advise you to use. Mm. Uh it's Britam. Wow. Yeah. They oh. have life. They have even vacation. a high school around here. Mm -hmm. Upper Hill High School, right yeah. there, guys. Right in here is the high school. Wow. Beautiful place, guys. Looking good, looking clean. And you know the funny part? I'm just saying that uh, yeah. Upper Hill, is it in Kibra Constitu Constitution? yeah. constituency? Mm. It's in Kibra Constituency. I'm surprised. Oh, yeah. It's in Kibra. So Upper Hill is in Kibra. I wow. Know. Oh, but I think Kibra is, Kibra is a constituency and they, they have the main Kibra, which is the slum. Wow. But I'm not sure. But you but can see a, we have surprised. an M MP of upper uh, Kibra constituency, yeah. which shows you that Kibra is uh, a big place, not just the slum, guys. The yeah. Kibra is one of the biggest, no, if not the biggest slum in Kenya. Most people, when you say Kibra, they just they think just, of the slum side. Yeah, they just think of the slum. But I think it's a and big that is it. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, wow. Teacher's Service Commission over there, guys. Yeah. But uh, we are going to stop uh, filming there because we can see some uh, you know, policemen and whatever. It's a government building yeah. right there. But look at this place, man. This place is clean. Very clean, also, actually. I don't know if I told you that you'll find most high end offices, yeah, and most headquarters, yeah, are located here in Upper Hill wow. from government to uh private sectors, private sectors, yeah, wow, mm -hmm. and also hotels, right? Yeah, hotels, also. wow, beautiful. Have you guys. seen we have one of the most iconic hotels that we have? Actually, I think it's, in, it's an international hotel, the Which Radisson one? Blue, or oh, Radisson Blue, yeah, yeah. Radisson Blue, mm -hmm. wow, beautiful, guys. Wow, and one of the best banks in Kenya, Cooperative. Yeah. Cooperative is a local bank in Kenya, right? Yes. It's a Kenyan bank. I think or it's is... a Kenyan bank. Yeah. Yeah, because I haven't I haven't seen it outside Kenya. I haven't seen it in other East African countries that I've been to. Yeah. Look at this place, guys. Woo! It's giving. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is beautiful. Beautiful architecture, guys. And guys, I can tell you, we are not in the CBD. Yeah. We are in Upper Hill 
area and this guys is an electric bus yeah. right there guys metro trans mm -hmm. wow it's an electric bus i saw them being launched just a couple of years ago i think it was last year actually last year but one wow I think and uh, here yeah. is jubilee insurance yeah. i think that's the headquarters it's also one of the biggest uh, insurances in kenya right mm -hmm. yeah wow wow this place is nice actually it's it's a nice place like, yeah. to work in mm. to live in so uh one of the advantages of when you're living in upper hill it's like you are like actually in the center of everything yeah because when you need to access certain places you don't even need to get to the city yeah and also guys to be honest we've walked from the city to this uh, neighborhood yeah or to this place yeah so it's quite easy for you to walk around you know wow. yeah beautiful actually and this is also an insurance company oh, semina insurance heard of it. it's yeah. Germania or Semina Germania. Germania. Yeah. so there's and so many in front of us is the is it the japan embassy you were saying oh yeah that's the japanese embassy guys we're gonna stop shooting for now yeah. this place man this is beautiful yeah. uh, they seem like they're building something or renovating something yeah, here some innovations. Uh, beautiful place in uh, Nairobi Kenya Upper Hill neighborhood guys with uh, Miss Gracie D can you introduce yourself give yourself a shout out hey guys uh, yeah. my name is uh, Grace oh, I go yeah. by the name Gracie D your African diva yeah. on my YouTube channel yeah uh, if you're watching this video kindly come and check <laughs> me out and you haven't uh, if you haven't subscribed to Jens uh, underscore Mogisha's channel yeah. kindly do so subscribe and let's support him yeah. He just hit 3,000 subscribers. Congratulations on that. Yaman. Yeah, so let's take <laughs> it to 5K Beautiful subscribers. Beautiful, guys. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. Yes. So, guys, keep on subscribing. Subscribe if you're not. Mm -hmm. Check her out. She's doing amazing content as we give you a tour, exclusive tour of this beautiful neighborhood in Nairobi City. You can see how beautiful it is, guys. Everywhere it just looks amazing. So, I think um, this is a uh, part of Westlands. Part of? Westlands. No, yeah. we are still in Upper Hill. Oh, we are still in Upper Hill, yeah. guys. Yeah. So, I think uh, Nairobi uh, is also clean in some areas because if you are in this part of Nairobi, actually, I think the roads are well maintained. Mm -hmm. You can see people are crossing with uh, zebra crossings. Exactly. And also, it's super clean, guys, and uh, very well organized. Uh, I think also because uh, it's a corporate neighborhood, you yeah. know, there's a little bit of order and sanity not around here. Bit. There is order, not a little bit, guys. <laughs> not, not a there little is, bit. There is order around yeah. Upper Hill compared to other places of Nairobi, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful place, guys. I love it. I really love it here. Look at this place, man. The Britam Insurance is advertising at this roundabout. Look at that beautiful place, man. I really love it, guys. Wow. Wow, so guys, I'm really super impressed with the Upper Hill neighborhood. Guys, we have to be careful as we cross the road here. Grace is already gone. She left me here giving you guys some content of Upper Hill neighborhood. That is the Britam Towers right there, guys. Look at that, but nice place, nice neighborhood, very well developed. What do you think, Gracie? Yeah, I love Upper Hill. Eh? Yeah. This is, I think, my, I don't know, I've come here uncountable times. Uh, to take people on tours and also like to my fellow content creators of course and also to do my own videos yeah man and yeah it's amazing i've also been to the the basic towers that i was taking yeah about this where we have the headquarters of uh, crb you know crb when you you get you take loan and you don't pay they put you in crb so you are those type of people eh no you like I, I taking taken, the loan but paying the loan is there. bad eh? is a problem let's no. go this way i'm surprised the last time i passed here it was okay yeah so it's okay i think maybe they are 
But uh, why are they cutting these grasses, man? Because the trees are good. They've cut the trees. You know, in, uh, in know Rwanda, why. the beauty of Rwanda is the greenery. As much as Rwanda is clean, yeah. if it's clean and uh, deserted, it's gonna look like, I don't know. But because of the greeneries, so it I don't know. It makes the place look lively. Exactly, yeah. guys. So I don't know why uh, they are cut these trees, but you know. They good. have their own reasons. They're in the office of the DPP. Let's not shoot. Yeah, guys, we had to stop filming because that was the office of the DPP. Yeah. The prosecution, you know, head of prosecution, and Can we don't. Have... <laughs> aye, aye, aye. So let's try this again. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we could not film again because of. Uh, the office of the head of prosecution in Kenya mm -hmm. and we don't want to get in trouble they can have by, two kids by yeah by filming uh you know government offices and their policemen it's, there it's not allowed actually it's not allowed Kenya, so yeah. we had passed the, the first gate and we thought that that was it but mm -hmm. uh there was a second gate yeah yeah man so beautiful place guys beautiful place i think if you're coming to kenya and you want a poshi or safe neighborhood for you to rent an apartment from an airbnb mm -hmm. or even a hotel if you see a place it's located in uh, upper hill just know that's a good neighborhood exactly that's a really good neighborhood mm -hmm. as you can see it from this video guys yeah very nice neighborhood up okay, here we also have a police just in this neighborhood yeah man and that's the police station i cannot film further i don't want to get myself in trouble in a foreign land because i know gracie <laughs> might even act as if she doesn't know me <laughs> no i wouldn't do that why would i live in trouble <laughs> we'll try and you know make sure that they don't arrest you and be like sorry we didn't know yeah, yeah. wow look at these guys this is beautiful mm -hmm. wow man this is beautiful guys this look at that NHIF. NHIF is like uh, the government National insurance, health right? insurance fund yeah. for health. So oh, we pay in this. Nice. I they have some uh, pottery right here, guys. You can buy pots for your flowers at home. So you used to pay what? I used to pay 500 monthly. Yeah. For me to for me to be able to, you know, pay nothing when I go to the to the hospital, but I stopped. Yeah thing that I don't get sick and I'm grateful to God I'm not asking to get sick wow this is a big library look at that guys very big library over here Maktaba, Maktaba. what is Maktaba? Maktaba what is the meaning is of library. Maktaba that is Swahili Maktaba is library in Swahili yeah yeah wow beautiful guys look at that this is not the CBD this is Upper Hill yeah, neighborhood commercial residential and commercial neighborhood yeah man yeah in Nairobi Kenya exclusive tour by Gracie D and, and Joel Mogisha bringing, yeah, man. <laughs> brought to you by Joel Mogisha I'm giving him the tour yeah he's bringing it to you guys wow look yeah. at this building guys this is beautiful beautiful yeah. building so this is too. like a public arena that we have here in kenya okay Nairobi, yeah. so, so anyone can visit students yeah. yeah so which way do we go this way or straight, this straight. i want us to cross to the other side okay so that we are able to walk so you can go there to read uh books for free or do you have to pay to be honest i've, I've never been there so i don't know if it's for free yeah because i remember the last time i was checking it out mm. i was in primary school and i really wanted to come yeah. but we were living a bit, uh, a bit far from the city and i had no one to bring me yeah and my mom could not allow me to come to the city by myself wow. so but the really design sure. guys the design is really 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 good yeah. very nice design actually here maktabaku in nairobi kenya yeah. upper hill neighborhood wow beautiful place actually i can see i and them bank yeah. right over there guys one of uh, the biggest banks i think globally or in yes. africa as a whole i'm not wow. sure if it's globally but i've seen it in tanzania i've seen it in rwanda yeah man they even have a very nice building yeah very in, iconic in kigali rwanda kigali. very iconic built by bricks yeah so beautiful place look at that guys 
Upper Hill neighborhood here. Wow, beautiful. And this looks like uh, it's the same the ancient, building. ancient buildings here. So wow, they have even uh, you know more kibandas. Yeah. You say they are kibandas, right? Kibandas keys. Kibandas keys. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Now you get food for like a hundred Kenyan shillings, a hundred and fifty, and the food is quite delicious, guys, and very yeah. healthy, by the way. Because yeah. some of it's, you might it's, think it's actually homemade, right? Yeah, homemade. Yeah. yeah. They just cook from there, but they cook as we cook at home. Yeah. And quite affordable. Yeah. They really help when you're working because. Cannot afford to eat at a five-star restaurant every single day. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, look at this. This, when you go straight up down there, that is where you go to the CBD, yeah. Central Business District of Nairobi. So this upper neighborhood, I think it's on a hill. That's why they call it Upper Hill. Am I correct? Yeah. <laughs> That's my I also own. Think that's, that, why. that's my own assumption. To be honest, I've never looked at. That's, that's my own assumption because I noticed when we were coming here, yeah. we were going I'm up a hill yeah. actually. So when you're going back to the CBD, you're going downhill. So maybe this neighborhood was called Upper Hill because it's on a hill from the CBD. You can see on this side we have the Ministry of Mining. Yeah. And on this side we have the Ministry of Water. Ministry of Mining the, right there. Yeah. Ministry of Water the right there. Wow. Beautiful guys. Beautiful. And I think guys this is where we're gonna wrap up this video. Thank you very much for watching. Kindly go check out Miss Gracie D yes, on her guys. channel. She just gave us a tour around her city Upper Hill neighborhood. And uh, also, if you're not subscribed, kindly subscribe to this channel, like the video, drop a comment, and share. So this is where we say, peace out.